Hi, it's Apple 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox and today I'm bringing you the video of me making it to Beagle Point. Um, finally after the slog and the maybe possible, I don't know, space madness, I actually made that final jump into Beagle Point for probably what is quite an underwhelming sight. Um, you can pretty much see the really cool um, sort of rip in space as you leave the bubble like behind you and you're out on the edge. You can see that from any edge. It doesn't specifically have to be the furthest edge. In fact, the view from Rackman's Peak is way, way better than the view from Beagle Point. Um, but Beagle Point is just that tick the box place that I've never been that I did want to get to before this game winds up completely. And given the announcement from FDev, it just seemed the right time to take the plunge and take that exploration trip with Scooby that he's been on about us taking forever and a day. Um, so it's been a really good trip out so far. I've seen some amazing sights. Most of the really amazing stuff is around the core. Um, when you get out to the rim like this, it's, it's okay. But honestly, this has been one of the most underwhelming parts of the trip. Um, Beagle Point itself, not that spectacular. But it is very nice to get here, and uh, what a trip. Um, my Type 7 held up brilliantly. Uh, she performed beautifully, didn't overheat very much, made it down on that 7G, uh, 10G planet, uh, just over 10G planet, and um, yeah, survived that, and made it all the way to Beagle Point. And I've still got ammunition in my uh, AFMUs, so we're all good. Um, I stopped off one of the carriers, sold my data, and repaired my ship, and fixed the paint job. Uh, many people wouldn't. Explorers love the, the paint job being destroyed, but I'm like, yeah, as soon as I dock, I always repair the paint job. So, um, I just straight away did it. I knew that I, I took one look at like the paint job that was knackered, but it, it's been the screen that's been greeting me as I've been logging on every time to Elite Dangerous for a while now. The paint has got fairly worn down. Um, but yeah, uh, this journey wasn't about really getting to Beagle Point as the journey to Beagle Point and hanging out with some of the members of the Dark Marauders and just having a laugh in the game. Uh, FDev have done their best to um, make me regret coming on this trip by putting loads of CGs on. Currently there's a rare good CG on. You know, stuff like that. There's also been other stuff in the bubble that's been happening that has been mildly entertaining and interesting. And um, yeah, at some point... I uh, I should really get back to the bubble and um, have some fun flying around with some of the guys and uh, maybe go out to CG and pirate some. But at the moment what the plan is is to head back to the core, see some more sights along the way back and just generally take our time coming back and enjoy the sights. Um, thanks to you guys we've got a little list of places to go and visit on the way back so we'll knock off some of them off the list as well. May as well, when I'm all the way out here, make the most of being all the way out here. Um, yeah, but all in all, Beagle Point itself is not the most exciting place to visit. Um, if I was on the tourist board, I'd say I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, there are some amazing sights on this trip, and um, Newton's Necropolis was more fun than this. Uh, you know, there's been some amazing places, some cool places seen along the way. I think my favourite is still the System of Wonders. Uh, that was really cool. That was amazing. But some of the Nebula, I love a good pocket Nebula. I'm a sucker for that. Um, were really, really cool. And there were some nice views, some nice sights along the way. Um, Rackman's Peak, I think if you want to get out to an edge and look on the galaxy plane, is better than coming out to this edge. Going above or below looks more spectacular to me. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I personally was a little underwhelmed. And you can see it's been a while since I landed, but that's a perfect textbook landing for me, I can tell you. That's exactly how I land my Type 7 virtually every time. Uh, <laughs> it's actually a surprise that the second time I whack into the landing pad, I've still got my gear, I haven't got my gear up. Um, <laughs> yeah, something's never changed. I still can't fly a spaceship. But all in all, um, the journey was not really about the destination, it was more about the trip along the way. And that part of it has been a roaring success. So I don't mind feeling a little underwhelmed at the final destination. It was never a final destination that was 
particularly exciting. Um, it was just, as I say, it's one of those places that you feel like you should really go to. Um, you know, it's just one of those places along the way that you should visit in your time in Elite Dangerous. Uh, just scan that beacon, get it ticked off, get it done. There's no achievement for coming out here. Uh, you get nothing for it. But apart from a codex entry which says you've been this far away from the starter system. So really, that's the only thing you really get for it. And, you know, uh, if you want to know the reason why it's called Beagle Point, I'll just keep it to tell you. Uh, it's uh, the tourist beacon pretty much tells you everything. Um, I can't believe there's massive great tourist ships out here circling the tourist beacon. Kind of a little bit weird, but hey-ho, there's plenty of carriers in the system. So uh, maybe it's not that immersive breaking. It's a little bit weird. Um, I didn't have anything to harvest the materials off them. And it was nice. A few people sent me well wishes while I was up here. So thank you to everyone that messaged me while I've been in game up here. This is just a couple of them that I got while I was on a planet service looking at the uh, route back to where I'm going to head back to. Um, yeah, head back to all the lights and the bright lights of the core and then go out to the uh, dark skies of um, the bubble. Um, but yeah, that was it really. Beagle Point, I can say, there's not really anything to say about it really. It's just, it's just Beagle Point. Um, I was in party chat with a load of people uh, the night this happened and they were all in combat up and around the CG and having fights and um, yeah, I had Gowron and Salfish in party chat with me and um, it sounded way more exciting their end of the uh, the huge expanse of space than where I am currently. But that's not really much of a surprise. And I don't think walking around on planet surfaces really is needed to have that Armstrong moment. Me in an SRV on a planet surface doing this sort of shot, this kind of ticks that box for me. I don't need to be on foot walking around. Um, I, never, I never thought that was a good addition to the game and I still don't think it's a good addition to the game. I think that Odyssey takes the game away from what its strength is, and its strength is being a spaceship game. Anyway, as I looked at the route back, I may just go space mad, but you never know. I might just make it in one piece, but we'll see when I get to the bubble what sort of state I'm in. Anyway, that's all. Thank you very much.